<laughs> What's he unboxing? What it be? I don't know. Shut up and see. Hey friends, I'm fresh back from Mullet Con 2021. Keynote speaker was Mel Gibson. It was all very interesting. Uh, grooming techniques, power mullet. Are you mulling over the mullet was the theme. It was, it was a lot of fun. So uh, I thought I'd, I'd come back to my house where I live. Uh, that's what we do when we turn from trips. Typically we come back to our house. Um, and when I got here, there was a package waiting and it was uh, from uh, my, my good friend, Jared Walters at, uh, at uh, Centipede Press. We go way back, way back, Jared and I. Um, anyway, now that we're all cozy and, and chatting it up, let's uh, check in with the Magic Duck Bucket. What have you got for me today, Magic Duck Bucket? Uh, a white Russian. How appropriate. You, you may retire, Magic Duck Bucket. Oh, this is delicious. So what we have here is the gas, uh, Vintage Horrors number seven in the series, if you're counting along at home. I have uh, four, five, and six. Um, the Dogs, Hellhound, and Sellers. And this is seven, so I'll have four of the set. You know, I'm not really a completist, and uh, I can't afford to be, you know. Uh, I would love to have the first three, but they usually go for about two hundred a piece, and I don't have six hundred dollars to chase those down. Um, you'll find that I typically do not chase books once they hit the secondary. Once they're there, I, I'm not secondary Terry. Let's just say that. And my last name's Terry. I don't know if I had to tell anybody that, but secondary Terry is not me. I get it from the publisher. I don't get it at all because. It's just a boundary I've set for myself. Anyway, the gas sounded awesome. Jared sent me an email saying, hey, Jeff, I got your number on the side here. If you'd like it, if you don't want it, let me know and I'll release your number and some, someone else can buy it. But uh, uh, I jumped on it. I got it. I, I, uh, I bought the book. Um, the funny thing is the number he set aside didn't match my number of sellers. For some reason, a lot of people got sellers uh wasn't the right number in their set so i don't know why that happened i don't really care if i'm not going to get the first three i'm not going to complain about m unmatched numbers as much so that's all that uh i've unboxed it i'll i'll share that video with you next uh, i hope you enjoy it um it sounds like a really crazy book uh, I wasn't I wasn't really going to buy it, but when I read what it was and then Jared said, I have it on the side for you, I'm just like, yeah, I can't tell Jared no. Ever since he saved me in World War II, we uh, stormed the beaches of Normandy and he saved me. He took 18 bullets to his spine um, and to keep me alive. So uh, I owe him. So he, he said, I got this book. I said, all right, Jared. <laughs> you devil. You devilish fiend. So I did that. Anyway, check it out. Um, get over to Centipede Press. You know, I've noticed a lot of people were complaining about the way he released this book, and it's kind of stupid. Uh, you know, I'm kind of getting, I'm kind of getting mad now at the chatter. I understand uh, it sucks to lose out on books. It does. It really does. I've lost some. I've lost a lot. I've missed out on a lot. Um, but that's the name of the game with limited editions. You're going to miss out. So uh, I, I really don't take dig the, the bashing the publishers because you couldn't get a book. I, I don't know. Someone's always going to be unhappy. But um, anyway, The Gas, Centipede Press, they're up there. SST, Suntup, Centipede Press. I'll vouch for any of them. Two Pauls and a Jared. They could tour in a band uh, with that name. So stay cool. Check the video out. Check other videos out. Tell your friends and your lovers about my channel. It's not going to get any better. When I do these overhead videos, I feel like Jesus at the bowling ball return. However, he, he dries his hands. You've seen The Big Lebowski, and if you haven't, 
shut this video off, and go watch The Big Lebowski. Centipede Press. Awesome, awesome uh, stuff coming up. I don't know if you've ever read The Gas, but it sounds really crazy. Now, oh, see, see. Overhead, you know, you go overhead, you go off your game a little bit. See? Okay, I got that. No, I got that. Okay. 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 So Centipede always packs like this. And I've never gotten a damaged um, book from Centipede. It's always at the very bottom, tucked in with this bulbous bubble wrap. So, The Gas, Vintage Horror, <clears throat> number seven. Uh, I missed out on the first three. That's okay. That's all right. Are you going to hold that against me? I don't care. I'm not, I'm not really a completist. So, this is a real dicey sort of move. Cutting this shrink wrap always makes me... Mega nervous. Mega nervous. Yeah, see, I'm like, I'm going to rip the dust jacket. I'm going to do all kinds of bad things. Bad, bad, bad. Okay. All right. We'll just slide that off. The gas. Um, I, think, um, I think the sequel to this was... <clears throat> the electricity, and then the phone bill. That was a stupid joke. 220. So, um, <laughs> I have, uh, I missed, I missed, so I have four, five, and six. Four and five are number 220. Six was the seller, and, or, or sellers, and it's a different number. So this matches my first two. The gas. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at that, that's trippy. That is uh, trippy. And um, this is beautiful. Beautiful printed board. Um, okay, I don't know if I could show this on YouTube, but uh, the video is not made for kids. So um, let's just put this out there. This is beautiful, beautiful artwork. Yes, Charles Platt. So, let's have a look inside. Um, uh, is that uh, is that blood or other body fluids? The gas, Charles Platt, with a new introduction by the author. Author, author, forward by Philip Jose Farmer. Uh, introduction by Ramsey Campbell. Ben Baldwin, and we know the publisher is Centipede Press. Trippy, trippy, trippy. So this was published um, originally in 1980. Hmm. So uh, I will be reading those. Purple satin page marker and the signatures, of course, in the back. Number 220, Charles Platt, Ben Baldwin, Ramsey Campbell. So, very cool. Um, you cannot get a signed edition. You can only get unsigned editions uh, at this point from Centipede Press. Um, but everything else will remain in, in the exquisite condition it is in for you to add to your shelf. So you can Jeff your shelf. Um, for modest, a modest price, I believe, of uh, $60. So you can add this to your collection and find, find it on your shelf. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's it. Um, you know, the fun thing about Centipede Press is he announces the book when they're ready to go, and then you buy it. So... This is, this has been a, um, 
very quickly coming. So it didn't take long at all. That's it, the gas. Check it out, check into it, check out Centipede Press, and then check yourself. And uh, I'll see you around.